Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook from Tea Dottles. Oh, had time fiddling with the camera before I started this because my little holder is broken and it wants to, it doesn't want to sit straight so I don't know if it looks crooked to y'all in the frame but it does to me. And it bothers me immensely, <laughs> more than it should. But anyway, welcome back. Um, to my podcast, I would like to welcome all new subscribers and all returning subscribers. Um, if you're looking for me on any social media, you can just look for Tea Dottles. Um, I am Tea Dottles anywhere that I am present. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, Ravelry, Google Plus, which I think that's going away. Uh... What else is there? What did I say? On my blog, on Etsy. So, I put it under tea dottles everywhere. This piece of hair is driving me nuts. You see this? Yeah. It's like pointing right at my eye. I washed my hair and let it air dry some. Then I blow dried it so I could use the flat iron on it. And it is just not cooperating today. So, anyway. Very sparkly today, and I don't. Maybe I should have changed my shirt before I got on camera. I didn't realize this was gonna be so shiny. It doesn't look that shiny when I look at it. Every time I wear this shirt, I have a hard time not. I just want to touch it all the time. I like the way it feels. <laughs> That's so weird. I love this shirt too. It's like a three-quarter length. It's styled like a sweatshirt, but it's a thinner knit. So, and it has sparkle on it. I really love it. And no, I didn't make it. Y'all people ask me that all the time when I'm wearing stuff. And it's really annoying that I can't say yes more often than no. Because most of my making goes to other people, except for my crochet. Crochet is one of the only things that I do mostly for myself. But it's not always cold enough here to wear um, crochet. Like, Tuesday I posted a little video of my yarn bag that I got from Lion Brand. And I had on a hat because it was cold. It's 28 degrees. Well, today it got up to, like, 67 or so. So, yeah. And now it's supposed to rain the next couple of days. It just It just kind of cycles like that where I live at. But, anyway... I have lots of stuff to share with y'all today. I'm very excited. And I will make very sure that this video, the sound and the video matches before I post it. Because I never had that happen before when I exported it from my video editing software. It was like that. And I didn't know because I normally... After it, it takes so long to export that I normally don't look at it again. <laughs> I just start uploading it to YouTube. So, yeah. But, if you've watched that video, it's only the first seven and a half minutes that it does that. And then there's a picture insert and then it stops doing that. And I tried my best to figure out how to get it to fix it. And I, I just couldn't figure it out. I'm not like a technical guru. I'm, I'm a maker, right? And videos is not... Well, I do make videos, but I don't, I know very little about editing them, so, anyway, I'm, I'm going to double check things now before I upload them to YouTube, <laughs> and everybody can see me talking like I'm in a Japanese movie or something, one of those older Japanese movies where they dub in the, the, um, English over the the other language you're speaking and it never matches. <laughs> so, anywho, drinking coffee out of my wish mug today. It's more Christmassy looking. It's, uh, I'm filming this on Friday evening as usual. So it's the last day of November and then it will be Christmas. And I've noticed a lot of people have put up their Christmas trees, which I typically do. The day after Thanksgiving. But that has not happened yet. And it probably won't happen until next weekend. Or next week sometime. But that's okay. Last year I made a tabletop Christmas tree out of a tomato cage. 
which I can link to in my show notes. And that's what I'm using now because I don't want to fool with putting up a big old tree because I'm the only one that decorates it. I'm the only one that's ever decorated it. My son is not interested in that. So when we were, he was growing up, he just, he would do it for just a little bit, but he would put all the ornaments in one spot. And then when I would say, how about we spread them out a little bit? Well, I'm done. <laughs> so, anyway, since I, don't, since I don't have anyone to help me do all that, I just, I'm going to stick with the tabletop Christmas tree. Plus, I don't have to move furniture around for that. Anyway, so, let's see. Yeah, last week, my podcast was a day late because I had to take my son back. To Atlanta, which took all day that Saturday. And that Friday, I had to finish a quilt to, to deliver. So, yeah. And it, I was coming off of... Well, this past Monday was Cyber Monday. So, we had Black Friday. Cyber Monday had lots of sales, lots of sales. So, and yes, I did order some things. Because my, my crafty purchase diet was lifted a little bit. Which now I need to put myself back on one. Like a, just not unless you need it kind of thing. Because y'all, got so many boxes in here right now. I can hardly fit my feet up under my desk. It's ridiculous. So, anyway, I have lots of fun things to share with y'all. Um, let's see, is there any? Oh, and I also, this past Monday, if you follow my blog, I posted an update about things coming that are changing on the blog. Um, I'm only going to do two posts a week on the blog, Monday and Friday, because there's too much going on right now, and I really feel like I can do better blog posts if I do one less, and having that Wednesday break in the middle of the week, y'all, that was nice this week, because I, I have yet to get to a point where I have things done ahead of time, it's usually at the last minute I'm trying to finish things up. So, that's going to really help me try to get ahead of things. And maybe I'll eventually bring back a Wednesday post. I don't know yet. But for now, I'm sticking with Monday and Fridays. And Mondays will be all about fiber art still. Sewing, crochet, any kind of fibery things I'm doing. And Friday will be any DIYs that I do, recipes, and my Life Live posts. Um, I've kind of squished all that together. So, um, plus that's going to help me be able to actually do my tutorial Tuesday videos that I want to do. I didn't do one this week because I put out the video about my line brand Santa Sacks that I purchased. Um, so I'm not going to show you all those for my acquisitions. I have other stuff to show y'all anyway. Um, because I, I made a whole video for just, just those sacks. Um, which is part of what's taking up room in my floor right now. <laughs> anyway. So, let me think. Is there anything else I needed to talk about? I'm trying to think. I feel like there's something else I need to tell y'all, but it probably will come to me later on. I probably should have wrote it down so I wouldn't forget, but I didn't do that. So, anyway. Time for some yarny goodness. Um, I do have one finished object to show y'all and I started a new project <laughs> uh, like I needed to start a new one but it was with my yarn that I wound up together my two special yarns I did a video about winding yarns together and I'll explain to you in a minute why I hadn't done that yet but first I'm gonna show you my first finished object which is my cowl from uh, this was my project bag for October from the Mary Maxim Crochet Kit. Mary Maxim Crochet Club. Um, That's my November bag. Remember I told y'all, for some reason they sent me the knitting kit, which was the same kind of yarn. Everything's so sparkly. So it was this yarn in red, but it's a knit pattern. pattern. I don't, I, I, I intend on learning how to knit one day, <laughs> but 
the red wasn't my favorite. I liked the purple and I had already made something with it. So I was like, I called them and told them, I said, I don't know why they sent me a knit kit this month. It's last month they sent me. I've been getting crochet kits. She's like, huh, I see that. And so then she said she was going to send that to somebody who t handles the crochet kits, I guess, and have her send me what I ordered. So I don't know if that means I'm going to get this November's kit still and then next month's kits too. Sorry. But we'll see. Anyway, I finished this cowl from October's and it is humongous, y'all. It's a, well, it's an infinity scarf. So it's pretty big. Yeah, and it's chunky, super chunky yarn, so but it has a nice texture to the pattern, but this thing, I'm trying to find the seam, and you would wrap it, it's so huge, <laughs> it is so huge, but it is big enough that I could wear it like this. Which I kind of like. I like that because it, it it's like I could pull it up. Of course, the back of my head is exposed. But you can adjust it. I feel like I'm talking in a tunnel now. But, yeah. It, it, it doubles as a hoodie. I don't think it's supposed to. But it's so huge. It's so fat. There's so much. I mean, I like it. But it takes a minute to adjust it. Y'all, all, all the sparkle between my cowl and my sparkly sleeves. It's making the camera do weird things. But, um, yeah. I like it. It's very soft and comfortable. Um, I love the color. But it's going to have to be a very cold day here. Which we do get them sometimes. Um, for me to wear that. Because that would get hot right quick like. Now my hair's extra crazy. Oh well. So, that was my finished object. I finished that up. It didn't take that long for me to make that actually because it's the fat crochet. Um, I think that's it's the same as this yarn. Yeah, it's it's a number five. It's a number five yarn. This is. So it's the Deborah Nor Norville Deborah Norville Serenity Sequins Chunky Serenity ch Chunky Sequins. Too many words. But. I love that all these kits come with this little zipper bag. I can store what I made in if I want to. That's already really nice. Okay. So that was my only finished object. Um. I did start. I did work. On, a, on a, my blanket. Which I'm going to show you my progress on that. But I also started this other object. And, and this is... Well, this is in a bag I made a really long time ago. Um, it's messenger bag style, but it really should have had some kind of padding in it because it's very slink, you know, slumpy. But, um, yeah, and I stamped that on it. And it just has Velcro, which is not good for yarn because it sticks to the yarn. Which I didn't make it for yarn when I made it, but it's got this really cool... Japanese lady print in it, which I love. Um, and this one actually, I was looking at the way I did this pouch. This would be good in my maker bags. Um, I did, it's attached to the top, but it has a zipper and it has an extra pocket on the front of the zippered pocket. So that would be a good thing to have. There's my crochet hook. Anyway, let me show you. This is from my, um, I don't have the other yarn over here, but it's where I, bl I blended um, Lion Brand Heartland and Lion Brand Silk Mohair. The Heartland is acrylic, and this is Silk Mohair. And I blended the two yarns, which I, I did a video about combining two yarns uh, into a cake before you crochet with it. Now, I will say, I wouldn't do that unless you know you're going to use all of that yarn in one project. Um, because then you'll have yarn 
left over that you don't want mixed together. So I only do that if I have, like this is a bigger project, so I have to wind some more because I'll only wind them up as I use them, if that makes any sense. So anyway, this is, let me show you the pattern. This is the Cascading Kimono Cardigan from Mama in a Stitch. And the first time I showed this, I was going to make a coat, a long coat with details out the side stuff. And I still want to make that coat, but the more and more I thought about it, I really didn't want a big, big, huge coat like that out of this because I knew I would only wear it occasionally. And I guess if I made a coat, I'd want it to wear it more often. I don't know if that makes any sense, but. Anyway, this is what I got so far. This was one of my cakes I wound up. This is, I really love, look at it. It's so, I'm trying to, yeah. Has this really nice textured pattern in the beginning. And then this is just single crochet. And then another, a little bit of the textured and then it goes off into the just double crochets. But, I love it. It's so soft, putting these two yarns together, it's made such a soft yarn. Um, if you're sensitive to mohair at all though, you know those little fibers will get up your nose, which they do mine sometimes, but it doesn't bother me. It doesn't prickle on me. But um, yeah, so this is what, this is, the way this is made, so this is like a rectangle, and this ripples so bad, look at that. But I've stretched it a couple times, and once I I'm gonna have to block this. But um, and it may just be because I have the two different fibers. But basically, the way this works is it's a long rectangle. So this portion will be hanging basically down, way down here, because you make the rectangle. It goes all the way around to the other side, and you leave little slits to make the the sleeves, because it does have sleeves. So. Um, I'm almost, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half. So I got about six and a half rows. After ten, after four and a half more rows, no, three and a half more rows, I'll be putting the open in for the, the sleeves. So I just got to wind some more yarn. But I love the way this turned out. And I think this is a better pattern for this yarn mixture. Because I think the other one was just going to be too much of this fabric, if that makes any sense. The way the fabric you make with the fibers. And I think I'll enjoy this wrap more, right? Um, but I've got it. I made me, myself, a little stitch marker, because I don't, y'all, I never used stitch markers until I started watching YouTube and reading blogs and stuff, and people were using stitch markers. I'm like, what the heck is that? Because you know what I would do? I'd use a little sliver of yarn and just poke it in the hole and that's how I did it. It works okay but it doesn't always stay where you put it at so stitch markers are much better. Yeah but this is one similar to one I've got up for sale in my Etsy shop. He turned around. It's my little owl. I'll cover up my face. Can you see it? Maybe you can see it. Anyway, um, I ordered some bigger hooks for bigger yarn, some bigger lobster claws, but I'll show y'all those in a minute. But yeah, that's my work in progress. And the only reason I stopped on it because I loved working on it so much and stitching this up is because my yarn cake ran out. I got to make another one. So, but I've got plenty of it because I ordered enough to make that coat. So I will probably have some left over. But that's okay. It'll be fine. So, now, when I ran out of that, I decided to, let's move this out the way, work on my afghan that I want to have finished before the end of this year. Um, that was in this big old lion room tote I've had forever. I don't even remember where I got this from. But, let's see, I 
haven't even broken into the blues in the bag yet. Let's see. But, let's get this out of here. Here we go. This is my Moreland. I think it's got a Moreland blanket or Moreland afghan. It's from Attic 24. It was a crochet along she did two years ago. Yeah, I'm still working on this. Because, y'all. <laughs> This is every, every row of color is two rows. So every two rows you change color. Okay. She, she, this is supposed to represent like the colors in a picture she took of the moorland with like, I think it was lavender in bloom. But when you start at the bottom of the quilt, the quilt, the afghan, you kind of have darker greens and browns. Then you move up a little and you start getting some lighter, some purples and greens. And now I'm up here, which you can see things are getting much lighter. I'm about, let's see. I had to make me a chart. This is, this is my chart of the color changes. Because you have to keep the tags with the balls of yarn too. Because there's so many different shades of each color. Because um, I ordered the kit for this. Um, I just finished row 83. I have started row 84. And there are 115 rows. Now that is 115 rows of color. So that's, it's double that. So there's 230 rows altogether. So... I have to finish all down there and then yeah I don't have a box I don't have a box on this side of these but this these boxes are for this this row here that I'm marking out and then I've got this column to do so I am I have one two five color rows before I ever even get to the blues, which is the sky. <laughs> so, I'm going to be crocheting on this. Well, I might be this evening. I might be doing some other crochet, but I'll probably do some crochet time on this. I put in a lot of work on this yesterday evening. So, I, I actually finished um, I was over here on this row, and I finished that, and Start it down there. So, anyway, I have quite a bit to go. Plus, this has a border around the whole thing, which is why I am just tying knots because all the ends are on one side. And I started weaving them in at the very bottom, and it was like, you know, this is really making that side look kind of thick because both ends would go into one row of color. So, I said, you know, I'm just going to tie a knot because it's got a border. And I will crochet over the top of most of it. So, that is the plan. This row hasn't been tied yet. So, I'm tying it. If it doesn't come apart, there is a mosquito. Did I get it? Oh, he was alive still. There's a mosquito in here, y'all. It was in the 30s, the beginning of the week. Had heavy frost on my windows. It was warmed up enough today to bring out mosquitoes. Craziness. So, let me get all this back in here. And, well... I got a stitch marker in there. Be fine. Be fine. Okay. Now that I'm finished fighting with my project bag, I'm going to show you this other afghan that I've had in progress for, mm, I don't know, probably the same amount of time as that one. Maybe more. I don't know. Because I'm seriously thinking about frogging it. Because I'm not even halfway done with it and it's set forever and ever. This is in my prototype Mega Maker bag. Um... And you can see in this one how much this actually holds. 
yes, I have all the yarn I need for this afghan in this bag. Plus, what I have crocheted. So, yeah, these two are still attached to it, so. And I've already pulled some of my stitches out because I didn't have a stitch marker in it. And I really love these two colors together. Look, that blue is looking. Is that dull here all over it? This is just Red Heart Super Saver. Or Red Heart with Love. That's what this is. Not Super Saver. And this blue is not as blue as this. It's a little darker than it's reading on the camera. And it's just the tan. I love the colors together. Um, this was also a crochet along that I started. Who is that from? I don't remember, but I'll put it in my show notes. Or across the screen as well, usually. This set in a bag without being closed for so long that it's gotten all kinds of dog fur and dust on it, which is ridiculous. So, anyway, this is what I have so far. Which, this particular one, you change up the pattern. I think hers had three colors, and I just alternated with two colors. It has lots of different stitches. It's like a sampler row afghan. Um, I really like this part, the way that works out. The way you do the stitches, it just looks like that outlines it. And it, on the back, it looks different though, see? So, yeah. That's what I have so far. And that's not even, that's not half of it. It's supposed to be a pretty big afghan. So that's not even to the halfway point. But this is pretty long as well. But, uh, frog in my mouse. Uh, I'm seriously thinking about frogging it, y'all. Because I haven't picked it back up in a couple of years. Even though the one I just showed you, I have been working on for a couple of years. I pick it up every now and again and work on it, right? It just takes long because it's... That says it's a number four weight, but I feel like it's smaller than a number four weight, slightly. And it just, it takes a long time. But this one, I just don't think I'm interested in it anymore. I love the color combination still, but I think I want to put it in a different African. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> Just something else. So I'm seriously thinking about frogging it. What do y'all think? Y'all let me know. What do y'all think? Should I frog it? Should I continue on? I really don't think it'll matter what y'all think, because I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to frog it. I'm gonna rip it, rip it, rip it, because I just, I don't even know where I stopped at, okay? I have no idea. And and stuff is already starting to pull out because I didn't have a stitch marker in it. It just had my hook stuck in it. So, I think that's what's going to happen to this. I'm going to rip it out and use it for something else. Um, yeah. Of course, I don't know. Maybe if I finished it off, what I have. Ooh, maybe I can make a wrap out of it. There's an idea, too. Ooh, I didn't think about that until just now. This would actually be really pretty as a wrap. Just like a wrap. Yeah. <gasps> what do y'all think about that? Wrap it or rip it? <laughs> That's what the question is. <laughs> wrap it or rip it? I think it would make a lovely wrap. I think I would have to at least do, I don't know, those little bobbles kind of look cool as a bottom, don't they? I just have to finish out my row. That's all I got left. If I can remember what I was doing, I'm sure I could. If I ripped it a couple of stitches and like, okay, that's what I was doing. <laughs> so, wrap it or rip it. What do y'all think? Let me know. We talked about that long enough. Or I've talked about that long enough. <laughs> Stick that back in there and look at there. Y'all. Yeah, there's the rest of that yarn for it is down in here. So this this is my Mega Maker bag. This holds a lot. I've only got one in the shop right now. And it's an upgraded version of this. But I will be working on more this weekend. So 
Now, what's next? Let me drink some coffee. I'm already at 30 minutes, and I haven't even got out of the crochet yet. I do have some new things to show you. My darn good yarn uh, crochet club kit arrived. Can you hear? There's jingle bells in there. So, we got this speckled tweed recycled silk. It's called a Stormy Day. And I think that is a very appropriate name for this color way. I really like it. I really do. You know, I hardly ever crochet the, well, I've never crocheted the pattern that comes with this. Um, it has a knit, a knit and a crocheted version of this little cowl. I mean, that's like, my purple one was so huge and this is, that's like super tiny. But anyway, and it also came with jingle bells. I got jingle bells with something else too. I think I'm going to make some jingle bell stitch markers. That could get annoying real quick. I think just one would be okay. Wouldn't be so bad. So, most of these, I, they're just over there on my shelf or in the box still. But... The only one I've actually, well, there's two I've actually used. The Popsicle yarn and the Caribbean Current that I got, that I put into my Alicorn shawl. Because I bought more of the other colorway. I think I'm going to, there's different weights though, but it would be okay. I think I'm going to make a, start making like a, a blanket or something. Like with just one row of whatever they send me in it. Because unless I buy more of it, you can't really make much with it. But it's still pretty yarn to me. I like it. So, we'll see what I'm going to do. Nobody knows. And what else did I show? Oh. I bought some yarn. We well, already know about all the yarn from Lion Brand. If you watch my yarn video. I got three of the Santa Secret Santa Sacks. I got one in each weight. Because I wanted to see what was in each one. And they weren't too bad. For $9.99, nine skeins of yarn. You got three of each type. A lot of it was out of their clearance section, but I did get three balls of scarfy. So, yeah. I really liked what I got. So, um, but I also, and I debated about this for a long time because I just got that kit from Craftsy with their sprightly, bulky yarn in it. I told you how much I love it. It's such soft yarn. If I haven't tried it, y'all need to try it. Um, I'm going to get it out in a minute. So, they had their Sprightly yarn on sale for a dollar five a skein. Oh, oh my gosh, I really love that yarn. I really don't need any more yarn, but I really love that yarn. So, that's what I did. I got, that's what I got. <laughs> I got two skeins in each of their gray shades. So I got two, okay, these are their, basically I got neutrals. I didn't get the black or the white. I got gray and cream colors. So I got two skeins each of these grays, right? And then I got two skeins each of this cream and this tan color. Because I intend, I intend on making Christmas gifts out of this. I'm not going to say what it is or who's going to because somebody may be watching. So, because I made the unicorn hooded scarves. And it was so soft. It was such nice yarn to work with. Um... It doesn't, no, it didn't split. It looks like it would because it's just got like a small, it doesn't have a tight, tight twist, but it, it holds together well. And it's just a squishy, softest yarn. Um, Y'all really need to check it out if you haven't tried it. This is, like I said, it's called Sprightly. It's one of Craftsy's brands of yarn. Uh, this is a, 
super bulky. So this is a number six. And it's 100% acrylic. I haven't tried like the worsted weight one or nothing. But um, this one I love. Love it. So this will be... I got neutral colors because... If I'm going to crochet something for anybody for a gift. And I'm not completely sure about what colors they're like. I'll do neutral. Because that just... That goes with everything. So... All right. Any more yarn to show? Not today. <laughs> I don't think I ordered any more yarn. That was it. That was enough, wasn't it? That box and then the three Santa sacks. Yeah, I think that was enough. Um, so, what else? Anything else yarny? I feel like I was going to share something with y'all. And I forgot what in the world. Oh, my next two tutorial videos will be yarn related. One will come out Tuesday, and then the next will come out the following Tuesday. Um, I was discussing with, I, I'm, I'm guessing she's okay with me saying her name, because she has a YouTube podcast as well. Her name is Angela, and I don't remember the name of the podcast. It's, it's Angela's something crochet. That's terrible, but I'll put it up here. And in my show notes so y'all can find her. But uh, she was having trouble with a bobble stitch in a pattern. And I thought I'd do a tutorial on a bobble stitch. Just how to keep your tension correct in a bobble stitch. Because it's a little different than doing a regular stitch. So I, I, she said that it might be helpful to have a tutorial. So I will be doing that. So Angela, if you're watching... So it's coming. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll be doing that. And then I also... I don't know if there was a name in my... But someone in my comments was... She got a bag. Uh, one of the Santa sacks. And she got the same fun yarn. Fun fur yarn that I got. And I said, well, maybe... She said she didn't know what to do with it. I said, maybe I could do a tutorial. And she said, that would be great. So that'll be my next tutorial. About different ways to use fun fur. Um, yeah, so that it's a little more fun to use. <laughs> it's going to be a pain to crochet with. Um, because it's hard to see your stitches, number one. Number two, it gets tangled easily, so it's not easy to pull out if you make a mistake. Um, but I have used it for different things. And there's some techniques and tricks that I do to make that easier. So, uh, I'll have a tutorial coming up on that. So those two are coming up. And they'll be my so my next tutor, tutorial Tuesdays, which I'm seriously thinking about changing to tutorial time, maybe, in case I don't make it out for Tuesday. No, I'm going to keep it with Tuesday. i got to quit changing stuff. Stick to it. Anyway, those will be my next two tutorial videos. They'll be crochet related. So, if you are interested in learning about those things, you may want to check it out. All right. Now. Let's go to Fabric Obsessed. Um, if y'all can hear my dog barking, he's outside. I don't know what he's barking at. But anyway, I haven't, I haven't sewn anything new. I was just sitting here thinking, did I sew anything this week? No, I did not. This was my first week back at school after the Thanksgiving break where I was so super busy. And then I went back to school. I was very tiring week for me I didn't do much but crochet in the evenings if I felt like it um yeah so I'm going to be working this weekend on some more bags for the shop I'm working on a size that's bigger than my small maker bag but smaller than my mega maker bag. So it would just be a regular maker bag, I guess. Um, yeah, I needed something in that mid-size range. And then I'm going to be working on making some of the Notion pouches. Uh, because they'll be made. Actually, I'm going to make those from charm squares and the corners that I cut out of my bags. So that I use all my stuff. Alright, so 
what else is there anything else? so that's what I'll be working on I don't have any works in progress or finished sewing objects to show y'all which is a shame because I think this year is going to be the year I finish it because all of these boxes have quilts in progress and then I have more stuff over here of course I got all my crochet stuff so uh, yeah it's gonna be the year of finish it because I got a lot of stuff that needs to be finished and it's super hard sometimes for me to do that because I want to start something new but let so so what I'm gonna show you is my new purchases things that I bought during the Black Friday sales or the Cyber Monday sales um yeah this one I actually bought my Joanne's trip several weeks back I just don't think I showed it to y'all I got one of these boxes of Guterman thread and it actually has there's a row of them in the middle I haven't have I even opened this sorry about all that noise but I thought I had the, the tape off of this but I did not okay there we go there we go you can maybe see more of the colors down in there. Yeah, there's a... How many is in here? It should say on the front. 26 spools of thread in here. They are the uh, 100 meters um, of thread. Now, I've been wanting one of these boxes because it's good to have different colors for different top stitching, especially when I do the bags. I use neutral most of the time, but sometimes I want to color. Um, but they only had it in 100% polyester, which is what I got. I normally buy the 100% cotton. I just like sewing with it better, but this box is usually $30, and I had a 60% off coupon. So that's what I bought with that. And that was actually several weeks ago. I just keep forgetting to show y'all. So next. I didn't, I did not buy anything from Joann's. I did not go to Joann's. I did not go out in any of that Black Friday madness because I was not going to do that. I did look online a lot, but most of the stuff I ordered online was for Christmas presents. I can't show you all that because, again, people may be watching that the present is for. <laughs> but I can show you some other things. I, I caught the flash sales in the Fat Quarter Shop. Um, they always have like several items during the Black Friday and Cyber Monday and stuff instead of just one flash shell item. So and a couple of them were things that I saw last year, so I didn't get them, but uh, I did get some of them. And I don't remember which ones came from which one. So, all right. The first thing I got was this. It was a Fat 8, Fat 8 uh, set bundle. I was going to open this. Where's the... I haven't opened the plastic. Which is highly unusual for me. Because I don't like to wait. Probably better that I don't. Because this is ridiculous. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to get it out. This is... Where's the tag? Reef from Elizabeth Hartman for Robert Kaufman. Of course, it has the, the little bow on it. Let's see if we can get this off. Is that a... Why is that on there? There's like two of those little plastic tags there for some reason. I didn't know. Here we go. I'm going to open this on up. Now, I like to save these ribbons for, um, they tied them out in the bottom, too. Oh, frustration. Anyway, I like to save these ribbons for, uh, to put into quilt, strip quilts, quilts, because that's just fun to put in there. Um, yeah, let's take a look at these fabrics. Got a fat ape of each. This one has a little seahorses and then we got this which I guess kind of reminds me of seaweed or this is more like seaweed isn't it 
got this color. This one has little fishies on it. There's little polka dots. Love the polka dots. That is that almost looks like fish scales or something. There's another reef in a different color. More of that abstract paint print in yellow. More seahorses in a yellow. And polka dots in a yellow. So yeah. I don't remember the prices of these, but it doesn't matter because they were on a flash sale, so they're not going to be the price anyway. But I'll still put links to them if I can find them. But this is the Fat 8th Bundle, which is half of a fat quarter. So, <laughs> 9 by 22 is what these are. Um, yeah, so I got that. And I got this charm pack, which is... Bake Sale. This is a Lori Holt of BMI Bonnet print. Um, I'll open it and we can look at it a little bit. I'm not going to flip through every one of these. That will take forever. So, yeah. Let's see. There's some cute gingums and. Ooh, I saw a wordy print. It's got baking stuff. That's got like measurements, like a recipe. We got the pinks, so yeah. So it has like, has it some brown, yellow, green, red, that that tealy blue, and pink. It's probably like a different color. There's probably like so many prints and a different color in each print. That's usually the way those go. So. I got that charm or charm square pack. And then I got this one, which I already had one of these, but I used a bunch of it in a quilt. So it was like a dollar and something, so I got it again. This is Bloomsbury by Franny and Jane from Moda. Um, and this one has lots of. I love this gray background with those colors. That's one reason I went ahead and got it. I really loved. The prints and the colors in it. So now I have another one. Even though I use most of it in my um, what was the name of that quilt? Oh, it was a rainbow triangle quilt. I don't remember the name of it. I will put. I will put in the show notes a link to my blog post I did about it too. All right. I got two little tins. This one's really tiny. It's just a little tin. There's nothing in it. You can put whatever you want in it. And then I got this one, which is really long. Sorry about the plastic rattling. And that's what it looks like. Oh, it's purple on the inside. Look at that. Yeah. I have a long one like this. No, actually, this is the one I have is wide, a little bit wider than this. So there's some tins, and I got these. These are just straight pins, little tiny heads. Um, they're mini applique pins, is what they're called. From they're from Lori Holt as well. I love the little container shaped like a mason jar. That's pretty neat. Then I got. This, y'all, each order for these, well, one was way, like, probably 15 bucks, and the other one was about 20, because I got more of the items. This is the Everything Mary Originals. This is a zip-around sewing kit. This does have an actual tag in it, which is weird, but it's pink and gray polka dots. And this one actually has stuff inside it. It has that little thread and a, a thimble. I'm pretty sure that those are needles in there. Measuring tape, a seam ripper, some little scissors, and a hem guide. So, 
Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was really soft. This will be something useful to tote around. And then I got this book. The Winter Wonderland. Come out of there. Winter Wonderland 12 Crozy Crozy Cozy Christmas Quilts. Yeah, look at that. I haven't looked in this yet, but I've got some pretty. Oh, I like the colors in that one. Oh, that pattern has little Scotties around it. I like it. So, has a nice new book smell. But I got this quilt book. And I almost threw this away, y'all. Got this pie ruler, which is also by Lori Holt. It's like a pie wedge ruler. I guess I can take this out of here too. I don't really need it to the end of the bag, do I? ideas about using this so yeah this was wrapped in the tissue that was stuck on top of the box the other stuff and I had put it in the box and put it in the hallway so I could do something with it and this fell out I was like because the box fell over and I was like oh my gosh I almost threw that away so well I probably wouldn't have thrown away that paper I save it for because Christmas is coming up and stuff but either way it was well hidden so that's what I got in the sale. Um, I'm going to move this stuff out of my way. Oh, got a trash can right there. So. And then, this was on, there are all their fat quarter bundles were on sale. So I got this. Which you can see all the colors right there. Buffalo chick flannel. By Riley Blake Designs. Yeah. I'm in love with flannel and buffalo check right now. So, yeah. I really wanted that. So, that's what else I got. So, that's all for my sewing. Um, Let's see. Since my next tutor tutorials are about crochet, I will be doing a sewing one after that because I feel like I need to balance that out a little bit um so if y'all have anything y'all like to see a tutorial on about sewing just let me know let me know in the comments i mean i can only do what i think people want to see unless they tell me what they want to see right and i'd really like to do tutorials that y'all want to see so if there's anything sewing related that you'd like to see a tutorial on please let me know um and like I said, I'll be working on more maker bags for the shop and more stitch markers for the shop this weekend. I hope to get a it updated before the end of the weekend. That is, that's my hope. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Let's move on to DIY and thrifty fun. I'm very sad. Because I did not get to go thrift shopping at all this fall. For one reason or another. And that's typically the time that we do the most thrift shopping. So. We were supposed to go Saturday to. Where our town is hosting a Christmas in Crisp festival. And they even moved it inside. Because the weather's supposed to be bad. It's supposed to be raining so much. But. If it's raining like. As hard as they say it's going to be raining. I really don't want to get out in it. And my parents were going to go with me, and they don't want to get out in it. My dad's had a sinus infection, so it looks like we won't be going to that either. Yay. Anyway, that's my rant. Otherwise, I purchased several things from Etsy. Some were Christmas gifts. And one was uh, packages of packages. <laughs> it was 
stuff I need to ship stuff in for the shop. So that's not exciting to look at. But I did order some more findings to make jewelry and uh, the charms slash stitch markers with. Because I found someone who had more sizes and stuff. Um, this is from Loretta's Beads. Put that right there. There goes my dog barking. I don't know what he's barking at. He probably don't know what he's barking at either. Anyway, I wanted, because the, the stitch marker slash charm I had made before in the shop, they're more for a, probably a number four or lower type yarn. Because they're not going to, they're, they're 12 millimeter lobster claws. So I ordered some 16, 15 and 16 millimeter ones, which are much larger Yeah, they're much larger. Whether you can see that or not, I don't know. I ordered some, which these are rose gold ones. So the last ones were supposed to be rose gold, but I, they looked more gold to me than I ordered from the other place. So I got those. I got some copper ones, but they're only, um, they only had those in 12 millimeters. So. Plus I ordered one I have some others, so I want to make some of the charm bracelets. I'm hoping to get those in the shop before the end of the weekend. Because I think that would make great Christmas gifts for anybody who wants a charm bracelet or who would use it to crochet or knit as stitch markers. So I found these. I only ordered one because I wanted to see what it looked like. But I really like the idea of using a larger lobster clasp on the end of a chain because then I could make it a larger size but then it would be a one size because you can put it in one of the chains to make it smaller if you need to. I wouldn't have to worry about making different sizes. So I think that would work great but that would be an example of what I'm thinking about using for charms. They'll have different clasps and stuff. But I think the big lobster claw at the end will work great because it'll keep you from me from having to make different sizes. It'll just be a one size and then it can be made smaller if you need to. So, I also got some, some jump rings. That's exciting, right? These are oval shaped jump rings. And then I got some triangle shaped jump rings, which I had never seen before. Well, then I ordered these. These are <laughs> huge mongus. Because I was looking for some for, you know, um, the jumbo yarn. Which, these are a little too big. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, see, my finger fits through that. So, I think that would be a little largish. To put on even the number well the number six which is unless you're using that gigantic arm crochet stuff which you usually don't have to have a stitch marker for but um yeah because I ordered them in the gold finish and the silver finish and they're even bigger see I wanted I was thinking more maybe like that size that's on that bracelet these are even bigger than that. So, and I saw them on her, she puts them on her finger. So, yeah, see that's, <laughs> that's so huge. I, I don't know what I'm going to use those for now. I have the idea to, like, you could put your stitch markers on this and perhaps... Well, let's see while I'm sitting here. Ooh, I bet this book ring will fit through the end of it. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and then you could put more stitch markers on it, maybe, and even hook it to something else. I don't know. Maybe that'll be an idea. What do y'all think about that? 
I don't know. That was just, those are just way bigger than I thought they were going to be. Okay. I don't even remember what size they are. They don't have a size written on the pack. I don't even know if they said what size they were. I'm just going to say they're size huge. That's what size they are. <laughs> because <laughs> I was, I'm, I was thinking more along the lines of that for fat crochet, right? For, that's probably a better size. I gotta see what size hook that is. It's good for the bracelets as well, so. Yeah. Anywho. Anywho, y'all. But she also sent me, that's where I got another, it's just one jingle bell. She sent me some little charms for free. It was a red jingle bell, and that's a little teapot with a tiny teacup beside it. Y'all can't see that through that package. I don't know why I try to do that. You can't see that. There's the jingle bell. And a teapot, which I'll probably put on a stitch marker. It's got a tiny cup. Can you see the tiny cup? Oh, come on. Focus on it. It does not want to do it. And then I got this Spartans. It says Spartans on the back. Head. Which, oh, you can see that good now. And it says Spartans on the back. All right, my phone got full. I had to empty it. So, anyway, I was showing you that Spartan bead, which I guess is like a football team or something. Seems like it's a football team. I don't know. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't watch football, so maybe somebody knows who that goes to. I don't know. Um, but that was all my all my little findings from Loretta's beads. Um, yeah, I will be looking. No, what happened? The tie came oh, loose. Anyway. I do enjoy, she had a lot of charms on there that I like too, but I was trying to just order findings because I have a ton of charms that I need to use before I buy more. <laughs> it's becoming a problem. Much like all my other crafting supplies. Anywho, one more thing. I got this off of Amazon. Now they really have very few, um, what do they call them? They're not flash sales. You know, the limited deals, things they do in their Black Friday sales. I didn't see that much stuff that I wanted. I, I didn't see, this is the only thing. No, that's not true. I did order something else, but that's for somebody else. And I can't share that. So. But this little thing I bought, because I've all been wanting to learn how to do paper quilling. So this is a paper quilling kit. Can you see? It came with all the stuff you need. Um, I have not opened this and looked at everything. I think it was like 12 or $13. I'm sorry, it's made so much noise. Get loads of paper yeah, and different colors. All of that. Get this little circle guide tool. Yeah. Yeah. We need to quit saying that after everything gone. Get some little pins, which I'm assuming is to hold things in place. It's just little straight pins with little tiny heads. Got some pointy tweezers. Which I have a whole tweezer set, but these things are useful for all kinds of things. This is a quilling tool. I had it in pink and then this blue. Uh, I got the blue one. 
And more plastic rattling. Sorry, guys. So now you get the kit with, for some reason, they had it with or without the glue. But you still got this little pointy. They, they were sold out of the blue one in the, um, with the glue in it. Did it cost more with the glue in it? I think it did. That was the only difference. It had glue in it, which is not that expensive. But it, it still came with the little pointy tipped glue bottle. So that was more important than having the glue. I have a ton of glue. These little scissors, which I have a ton of scissors too, but I have too many scissors. And then this quilling board, which has different shapes on it for you to make. And it's got the cork on the back side so we can stick things in it. And what else is in here? Uh, my free gift, a paper ruler. It says free gift on there. <laughs> That's crazy. And, uh, what is it? It's got a couple of, ooh, that's got a neat design. It's got a little artwork, and it has, let me see that. Oh, you can see it better. This is what you'll make. That little dancing lady. You'll do quilling on her skirt. And then this one is a peacock. That'll be cool. Yeah, so you can practice your quilling. It's got a little instruction manual. Uh, let's see. Oh, with other tools you might need or want. That's what that is. More tools you might need or want. But I felt like this was a great little deal for me to get um, started with quilling. Because I see some beautiful things on Pinterest all the time. And I really wanted to make something with the paper. This has already already has the strips, but yeah, I have so much paper. Once I learn how to do it, I'll probably just use what is that? Oh, it's an extra stopper for the glue bottle. I'll probably just use the paper I have and cut it. Although I have to cut it. I have a paper cutter though, so it's fine. It's fine. And look, I like the box it came in too because I can keep it all in there. It's got the what's in there in case I lose something. I don't know. Anywho, oh, I forgot the scissors in there. See, I keep it all together and I know that all that goes for paper quilling. Okay, now. Anyway, all right. That's everything. That is everything. But I remembered what I was going to tell you. I remembered what I was going to tell you in the beginning. I got a new phone. This is not the new phone I'm recording on. <laughs> because on Cyber Monday, Verizon had the Samsung S8, um, which I have an S6. They have an S9 out right now. So I was going to get the S9, but they had the S8. For $10 a month, which made the phone $250 instead of over $600. It was only on Cyber Monday. So I went ahead and ordered it because I was like, that's a really good deal. And that's still two versions above what I'm using now. So I'm hoping that it will hold a little more video and I'll get a better picture. We'll see. This phone is almost three years old that I'm recording on. Because I really... I don't see a point in investing in a video camera right now because I can pay for that phone and I can use it to record, I can use it to take pictures, I can use it for a phone, and I can use it when I need to look up something online. It's like a little computer in my hand. It like covers all that stuff. Um, so I, I, at this point, I don't see a reason to invest in a separate video camera. Maybe eventually, maybe in the future I will, but right now I don't. So. I just use my phone to record. But so, 
The only thing is it doesn't ship out till Monday because it was back ordered. So I won't get it till next week. So next week, hopefully I'll be recording on my new phone. And the last thing I wanted to say, because I did want to say it at the very beginning, even though I'll probably put something at the beginning of this video to let y'all know so y'all watch it to the end. I, like I said before, I have collected so much crafting stuff, especially yarn here lately, and I really need to clean some things out. So, I'm going to have a giveaway, and it's going to start this week, and I'll have one next week, and the week after that, and I don't know, I may have one every Saturday in December. I think I can do that, and I'll be fine, because I have a ton of stuff, y'all. I have too much stuff. It's ridiculous. So, it may not always be yarn. It may not always be fabric. It may not always be DIY stuff. It'll be something different every week. But this week, what I'm going to give away is this Mary Maxim kit. Because it is a knit kit. I could still use the yarn for something. But I already crocheted something with this yarn. I did enjoy it. It was nice yarn. But I didn't expect to get a knit kit. So, I'm going to give it away. It has four skeins of the Premier yarns. Deborah Norville Serenity Chunky Sequins yarn. This is a number five weight. It's very red with sequins on it. Comes with this little zippy pouch. And a knit pattern for a cow. I feel like this is probably similar was the knit version of the one I got for the crochet version in October. <laughs> and for some reason it got sent to me. I don't know why. But, let me take it out so you can see the yarn. Very sparkly. It's the same yarn I made that purple cowl out of. It's just red. And I wouldn't say you have to be a knitter to qualify for this because you could use it for whatever you wanted to. It does have a knit pattern with it though. So, I'm going to give it away. This is my first giveaway. Um, and I will be putting a little three set of my stitch markers with it. I'm not going to show you what those are because it's going to be a surprise. So that will come with it too. Um, let's see. I'm going to say that it's open to anyone. Yeah? If you're in the U.S. or other country, yeah. Because shipping can be pricey for that, but since I'm just paying for shipping, you know. I've, I've sent stuff all the way to Australia before. I, I, I know about what it's going to cost <laughs> me to ship this. So, it's not going to be a $3 shipment. I know that. But anyway, um, so, if you really want this, I know most people wait till they get to so many subscribers, but it's fixing to be December. Well, this will air on December 1st, and it's Christmas time, and I like giving stuff, so that's what I'm going to do. So, every Saturday in December, I will be giving something away from my stash, because I don't open stuff. A lot of times it stays in bags and stuff until I use it, so this is what I'm giving away this week. You can enter by telling me in the comments. Let's see, what can I say? Why do you make things? That's what I want to know. What what makes you make? <laughs> I don't want to just say crochet because or knit. Because I do make things of all sorts. And I'm hoping that people that watch like to make all sorts of things too. Or maybe they're just interested in one part. But that's okay. But I want to know what, why do you make things? What, what drives you to make the things that you make? That's what I want to know in the comments, okay? And then I will put everybody's name in a random number drawer thingy. And next week I will tell who the winner is. And then I will email, I will, when I tell you the, the name, you're going to have to email me. My email is always down 
um, and the, the, the little text box below, which I can't think of the name of now, but it, my email's always down there. It's at the very bottom under all my social media links. So, yeah. When I announce your name, you're going to have to email me your address so that I know. And if you don't, answer by the next week, I'll have to give it to somebody else. So, all right. That's what I'm giving away. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. So, uh, yeah, just tell me in the comments, why do you make? Yeah. Do you make because you just want to see a finished product? Do you make because it relaxes you? Do you make because uh, you like creating with your hands? I think that's why I make. I just like to see something grow within my hands. I like to see... I just love the process of it. I love the finished object, but I love the process of it. So, um, taking an idea out of my head and making it reality. That's what I love to make. Um, why do you love to make? Why, what makes you want to make? What drives you to do that? So, I'd be interested to see what y'all say. And, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I think this has gone on long enough. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Oh, you do have to be a subscriber to enter, okay? Um, yeah, you have to be a subscribe sub no, subscriber to enter. And I would appreciate it if you didn't just subscribe to win and then unsubscribe. That's kind of stinky. I did giveaways on my blog when I first started it, and the person who won one of my giveaways, like right after she got her stuff, she unsubscribed from my blog. <laughs> <laughs> which is like okay I understand some people just want to win free stuff but it's kind of rude don't you think that's rude I think it's rude but anyway you do have to be subscribed so if you like this video give it a thumb up if you haven't subscribed yet think about subscribing so I'm going to be giving away stuff this month but hopefully you're going to join and subscribe because you just like it <laughs> anyway I'm going to let y'all go. I will see y'all next time. Bye.